Hi. What you are looking in here is actually now that we have had enough discussion on the naming conventions. So let's go ahead and re remove the added stuff. So now I have this class uh, calculator with a method called square which returns right now a uh, thing which I don't really like which is a constant. So let's now go ahead and add functionality to this to uh, do the actual calculation. So now let's discuss how to do this. So int square uh, uh, what I want to do is actually uh, to declare square of number this is an integer variable that's basically what we are doing we are creating a variable called square and we are declaring it to be an integer so this is how you declare a variable in Java it's very similar to how you declare a argument uh, and we want this square to have a value of number into number so that's basically what we would want to have in this square value so what we want here is to declare uh, we declare a integer called square and then we said square is equal to number into number and instead of returning 10 back what I would return back is the value in square so what that's basically this simplest simple implementation for this square method so what we are doing here is we have declared a integer called square this is called declaration and this is one kind of a comment if I'm sure that I'm going to use a single line comment then I can use something of this kind what this comment does what a double slash like this says is the rest of the code in here is a comment so all the piece of text after this is a comment that's basically what this comment says so basically Java has two kinds of comments one is slash star star slash which we are looking at right now and the other one is slash slash so this is one important thing you need to note so since I'm I, I want the rest of this line alone to be a comment I would use slash slash if I want a lot of lines in between to be comments I would use stars slash sorry slash star and star slash that's basically the uh, different forms of uh, inline comments that are present in Java there is something called a Java doc comment we'll look at it later uh, now uh, this is the declaration and this is the calculation of square and what we are doing here is returning the square back okay one key thing to note here is that these comments are actually superfluous the exact if you understand java this declaration actually is a comment which is not really needed so I'm just adding in these comments to help you understand the piece of code easily. Um, when I really write the code, I would write it in such a way that these comments are not needed. So, because when I look at the code, I should be able to understand what the code does without needing the comments. There are such few situations where you need do need comments to explain what's happening in the code properly. But most of the situations you don't uh, like we should try and avoid writing comments and try to represent what we are doing in code itself. So over here square square is equal to number into number. So anybody who looks at this piece of code understands what's going on. So uh, my comments which were added in are just kind of a superfluous comments just to help you understand what's going on behind the scenes. Um, now that we have Return this method. Let's go ahead and now run the calculator test. Let's see what happens. Run as JUnit test. Okay, there we go. So test squares method now is successful. So what we have done is now assert equals 25 and calculator dot square 5. That's perfect. Um, we what we'll do now is think of a way to make this even better. Actually, uh, let's look at the calculator method what we have done is declaration and 
here is what we call the initialization. In Java, actually along with the declaration, you can also assign an initial value. So instead of using in square and square is equal to something, what I can do is something of this kind. So if I say in square is equal to number into number, this is a simpler way of doing this thing. And let's just say what happens. Okay, it succeeds. So the code is still working. Um, let's also improve the test a bit. Uh, right now, if you look at it, uh, 25. Um, I can put 25 as 5 into 5. So let's leave Java do the calculation and also it would make it make the test very clear. So calculator dot square 5 is 5 into 5. I don't really care what 5 into 5 is, but whatever 5 into 5 is should be whatever the calculator dot square dot function should return. So let's add a few more tests. So let's say I pass in calculator dot square 25. It should return me back 25 into 25. So let's see if this works. So there you go. The test squares method runs fine. So all the asserts have went through fine. So that's uh, basically uh, your calculator working. Um, is there more improvements that I can do to this function? Yes. Actually, if you look at this variable, I'm using it only once and calculating number into number. So probably I can even uh, remove the need for this variable, but let's discuss that and a lot more things about how to improve this test. Actually, there are a few things which I'm not doing right as part of this test. So let's discuss the, those and the other things as part of the next series of tutorials. Um, for enough, what you have actually done today is created a project, a Java project, uh, created a test class, uh, created a class, implemented a method called square, and you have written the test for that particular method, and you have got everything working. So that's a lot that you have done in this uh, tutorial. We are creating more videos as we speak, and if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.